everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Halloween is almost upon us and you guys know what that means. It means that it's time for a good old fashionista Halloween special. Forget ghosts and goblins, today I'm going to be talking about a subject which is utterly, utterly terrifying. Now I must forewarn you, anyone who has a nervous disposition, you may want to click away now because this video is going to get really, really scary. Today, my friends, we are going to be talking about inaccessibility. <laughs> For those of you who have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, inaccessibility basically means when a service, an establishment, a resource, anything that you would usually use is not made to fit your requirements. It's not been adapted to fit your requirements. Now, usually this impacts people who have disabilities, people who are of an older age, people who are perhaps parents and have young children, but you will often hear people from the disability community talk about inaccessibility because it affects us on a daily basis. So today in the spirit of Halloween I am going to be talking about my inaccessibility horror stories. Are you ready for some horrifying tales of inaccessibility? I hope you are because I have got quite a few to share with you. Inaccessibility is nothing to be trivialised. It affects millions of people around the world on a daily basis and it can have very serious effects on a person's ability to work, to have a social life, to travel and to do the daily tasks that they would usually do. Inaccessibility can actually be the difference between you leading a fulfilled life and you not leading a fulfilled life. So although I am acting a little bit silly and I'm making a video for Halloween, this is nothing to be trivialised. But I wanted to make this video because I wanted people to know that, hey, forget things like ghosts. There are real life issues that people with disabilities find actually pretty scary and inaccessibility is one of them. So without further ado, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my inaccessibility horror stories. Having a visual impairment means that I can't read print very well and this means that I rely heavily on audiobooks, Kindle books and any electronic publications of books to be able to read them. But what is terrifying is when you go onto a website to try and find the EPUB of a book or a Kindle version of the book or an audiobook version of that book and to your horror discover that there is none available. The only option they have is a print book. And I can tell you this happened many times when I was studying for my degree and then my master's degree and you'd have older books. More often than not those books were not published in accessible formats and that would mean that I had no way of reading it unless I got them transcribed, which takes an absolute age. And this is not helped when you have a deadline and you have to read that book within a week. When I was studying for my degree and my lecturer would turn up to a lecture with only print handouts, and because they were so anti-technology, they wouldn't have uploaded it onto the virtual learning space. So I had no way of reading it. When I go to the disabled toilets to discover that they're being used as a broom cupboard, and instead of finding a toilet and a sink and other disability facilities, there's instead brooms and cleaning appliances in the disabled toilets. Sorry, but don't you have a, a cupboard for that? Why are you using the disabled toilets? Or worse still, when you go to use the disabled toilets and discover that they are out of order. Excuse me, disabled people need to use the bathroom as well, you know. It's not like I can use the other toilet facilities because I have a guide dog who takes up more room and I can't try and squeeze her and myself into a tiny cubicle. When you go to a venue or an establishment and they don't even have disabled toilets. That has happened to me a few times, although I'm glad to say not that many, but it has happened to me. When you go to look up a cinema viewing of a new film that's come out and discover that they have no audio described showings, when I go to use a train or tube station and discover that it has no lifts, and this is only made worse because of the fact that my guide dog is not escalator trained, and that leaves me with a few options. The first option is, if they are able to stop 
an escalator or if there is one already stopped I can walk down and then on the return journey back up a stationary flight of escalators and they my friends they are steep okay they are steep or I can instead use a different tube station or I can get a taxi but being in London where there's lots of congestion and traffic this can cost me a considerable amount of money. When I book travel assistance, but when I arrive at the station, no one comes to assist me off the train. And I'm faced with the option of having to try and disembark the train myself and find my way through the station with a guide dog and often, if I'm traveling, with a suitcase. When I'm on a bus or a train and it has no audio announcements and I have absolutely no idea of knowing where I am. Luckily for me, living in London, I don't experience this problem all the time because being in London, all the transport services do have audio announcements. But when I go out of London and perhaps I'm not in a big city, I do find that certain places that I have been to don't have audio announcements on their buses or their trains and this is quite problematic for me because I can't see and I have absolutely no way of knowing where I am. I can't just look out of the window and go, oh yeah, I'm at the station now, I have to get off. I don't know where I am and I could stay on that train until the very end and then think, where am I? And of course, if assistants aren't there to help you get off the train, then what do you do? What do you do? When a website or an app is not accessible for people who use assistive technology, and you have no way of being able to navigate that app or that website. Perhaps it's not been made compatible for people who use voiceover, or perhaps there is no way of being able to zoom in using your iPhone options, or perhaps it's not compatible with whatever screen reader you use. I've had this on plenty of occasions where I've downloaded an app and discovered that it's completely inaccessible to me as someone with a visual impairment. There's no way of being able to enlarge the screen or to enlarge the font size or it doesn't allow you to use your screen reader options to be able to know what's on the screen. I can't use things like speak screen or speak selection with it. I feel really hard done by it. I've downloaded that app and especially if I've had to pay for it and I can't use it. When you're told that your guide dog isn't allowed into a public place, even though that they're a guide dog and by law they are permitted into public places, and I've had this on plenty of occasions. The worst one that I can remember was when I was getting a cab back from my university. I was there quite late because I was working at a student union event and it was about 11 o'clock and I'd booked a cab to take me home. And the cab arrives, sees that I have a guide dog and says, oh, I can't take you because you have a dog. It was 11 o'clock and it was a dark and stormy night. No, I'm not just saying that for the purpose of the video. It actually was a dark and stormy night. It was raining it was bucketing down and I had no way of being able to call anyone because my phone had run out of battery. So I had to commute home on my own at 11 o'clock at night. I go completely blind in the dark. I literally felt that night like I was living in my own horror movie. When I walk along a street or a road and there's no braille markers to let me know that I've come to a curb or some steps, and the only point that I know that I'm at steps is that either my guide dog stops or that my cane suddenly plunges down into that steep curb or those steps. I had it on one occasion where I just started using my long cane and I was in a new place. I was in a new building that had just been built and they were boasting about how accessible that they were. And I came to these steps. I hadn't preempted them and because there was no braille stickers on them i fell down luckily it wasn't that many steps but i did hit my head and i actually did have to go to a and e because of it but then when we raised the issue to the said establishment they blamed it on the fact that i was wearing high heels the day that i fell it was nothing to do with my high heels they were like an inch high, that it were nothing to do with my high heels. I can walk in high heels. It was nothing to do with the fact that I had high heels and I couldn't tell you that. When I'm walking along a street and discover to my horror that I have stepped onto the road. And the reason that this happens is because there is something called shared surfaces where the road and the curb are on one level and there's no way of being able to feel 
that you have entered the road. And the only way that I have known that I'm on the road is either my guide dog has tugged me back to the pavement or a car has come screeching to a halt or someone has called to me from the other side of the street or from next to me, you're in the road. When I find out that my favorite author is releasing their new book and I get very excited, I check when it's going to be released and I wait for it to come out on Audible and discover that that book is not coming out for two months after the initial print book release date. I have to wait two months to read a book that I've been waiting for an entire year to read. Now, of course, there are options to read Kindle books, which I have done on many occasions, but sometimes reading a Kindle book that has a very robotic computer voice can really take out the fun of a book and the enjoyment and it's really hard to concentrate and to be fair if you're putting a book out on this particular date then really you should be making sure that the audiobook is released on the same day as that book not two months after when literally all the spoilers have been leaked on tumblr and you can't use tumblr for two months because you're scared of finding out a spoiler or you can't talk to your friends about that book and when they start talking about that book you have to go la 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 I'm not listening and run out of the room because they're going to spoil it for you so that is one of my big bugbears and actually that's that that is pretty horrific that is traumatizing to me as a book lover like having to wait that long to read an audiobook one of the books I'm waiting on we don't know when they're going to come out audible just keeps saying narrator to be confirmed publication date to be confirmed and it just kills my soul it just kills me on the inside so <sighs> I have shared with you just some some of my inaccessibility horror stories believe me I could have told plenty more but we'd be here till next Halloween if I did that so I'm gonna now open a discussion to you guys I would love it for you guys to share on social media whether that be Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, a blog post, a YouTube video, your inaccessibility horror stories under the hashtag inaccessibility horror stories because hey let's let people know that inaccessibility really can affect a person and it can be really really scary stuff. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some idea of what it's like to be a disabled person who has to face inaccessibility on a daily basis. I hope you all have a lovely Halloween, stay safe, look after yourself and eat lots of sweets and enjoy yourself. And also do let me know down in the comments what movies you're going to be watching for Halloween. My favourite is Hocus Pocus. And also be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you're new. And also be sure to click the notification bell down below if you would like to receive updates when I make new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. And until then, good night and farewell.